well. Help to Buy is an, a scheme that the government introduced about three years ago. Um, it's an equity loan scheme where the government will lend the buyer 20% of the value of the property, up to to 20% of the value of the property, uh, which means that the buyer would only need a 5% deposit. So it makes it very much more affordable. Um, And that will also mean that the uh, mortgage rates will be better for you because obviously having 25% deposit means you'll get a much better loan-to-value rate. And so it does make it even more affordable for that reason. So you can buy any new build, uh, up to 600000 It's available to first-time buyers, but it's also available to anybody else as well. So it's, it's really you know, open to a lot of people. The help to buy scheme is generally the same amongst the um, the regions, except for London. Uh, so very recently, uh, the help to buy scheme is now offering people that live in the capital 40% equity loan, which sounds a huge amount, but actually when you take into account that the properties in uh, London or even central London itself are way, way more than they would be anywhere else in the country, it kind of makes sense so that people can actually afford to live, maybe not in Zone 1, but certainly um, you know, any of the other zones further out, which uh, people are tending to do these days. Well, as long as you're buying the home to live in um, and you are not going to use it as you know, a buy-to-let, and also as long as you are, have only got one home, you can't have that and then have another home. So basically, you really have to be a first-time buyer or somebody that is looking to live in a property and that's where you're going to live. I think people get very nervous when they hear equity loan. They think it's going to have some sort of bad stamp on their on their credit or whatever they think um, and basically it's an absolutely fantastic opportunity for people to actually own a home of their own um, they don't have to pay rent they don't have to do anything strange with a mortgage you just simply buy a home as you normally would it's just that you have got that 20 percent equity loan the thing you do have to remember of course is that you do have to pay it back so it's interest free for five years following on from that then the interest starts to kick in so i think it starts at 1.75 percent on the sixth year and then it raises one percent plus inflation after that but even if you look at those rates it's a very good actually good value for a loan Um, So, you know, there's no hidden agenda with this at all. This is something that really is just very simple um, and it is really helping a lot of people. It's been a huge success. If you want to pay it back and not pay interest, you obviously have to hopefully save up as much money as you possibly can and pay it back so you don't end up paying that, that interest. But there's no... There's no criteria that you have to do that. You do have to pay it back if you sell the home. Obviously, the government want their money back. Um, So the the way that works is is that if you've paid, say, you've had a 10% or a 20% equity loan, you pay that back when the house is sold at the value of the house when it is sold. So that won't be exactly the same amount that you borrowed because it might have gone up. There again, it might have gone down. So unfortunately, if your property's lost value, then you pay back whatever the value is at that time. So it's kind of swings and roundabouts. The government um, are not going to make any money out of you un- unless you've, you know, your home's made a huge, huge amount of profit. So a lot of my readers still think shared ownership is where you share with a stranger, which, you know, I sort of get why they think that, but it's absolutely not that at all. Shared ownership is uh, offered through housing associations. Um, You buy 25 to 75% shares in the property and you pay a subsidised rent on the share you don't own. So it's often referred to as part buy, part rent. So on the amount that you buy, you need a mortgage, and on the bit you don't buy, then you just pay your rent. And the whole idea of it is is that you basically um, save up to buy more shares, and they call that staircasing, um, so ultimately you end up owning 100%. So every time you buy more shares, <clears throat> you, you pay less rent, 
but obviously you pay more in your mortgage. And then in the end, you end up not paying rent at all because the home is yours. Normally, with the housing, I mean, it's a really good idea to go on the housing association's websites and, and, and check it. But there is criteria. So there are certain um, earning restrictions in and out of London. It's higher, higher earning if you're in London, less if you're outside London. Um, and also, you normally have to live or work in the borough already that you're buying in. So if, for example, you know, you live in Barking and you suddenly want to move to Hounslow, it may not be that easy unless you happen to work in Hounslow. Um, doesn't always, it's not always, you know, 100% that that is the case, but mostly the housing associations want you to live or work in the borough. Uh, you will have to go through a help to buy agent who will check out the how much you earn, where you live, whether you tick all the right boxes. If you do, then you will be approved and then that will be fine. You can, you can go ahead. Obviously, um, you, if you don't tick all the boxes, you might have to rethink and actually think about buying maybe where you do live or work. So you'll go to a development and you'll have a percentage of shared ownership properties. I have compared them many, many times with the private ones, obviously just on the open market, and there's hardly any difference. It, it, it's minimal. Um, in fact, sometimes the shared ownership ones, in my view, are nicer. I sometimes think that they look, you know, actually better. Um, and nobody knows that you're a shared ownership tenant uh, not not a tenant at all sorry a shared ownership owner because basically they're all mixed up so you know your neighbor might have bought on the open market and you've built shared ownership nobody knows i think really it's a question that of location so if you just want to buy in a location of your choice you're going to have to probably go with help to buy uh, and location is very, very important to a lot of people for lots of different reasons. Um, shared ownership is a great way to get on the ladder, but they only both of them require 5% deposit. So I think you might have to consider whether or not you think that you are able to save that loan that you're taking out and whether you're going to have that capacity to pay it back or whether you're going to have to wait. That is, I think, the deciding factor where with shared ownership, you can just stick at 25% shares and carry on like that and never staircase if you don't want to. It depends on your financial circumstances, but they both require 5% deposits. So the choice really is, um, I think, very much location. If you want to buy anywhere in the country, just go to help to buy. Well, these are launched uh, the, uh, about October time. Um, we have about 15 different categories, everything from best small development to best law firm for conveyancing. We've got some new categories this year, including best mortgage provider for first-time buyers. Um, and everybody uh, submits their, their, their um, entry. These are then judged by a very expert panel of judges to come up with a short list. The short list is then put online and it features in the magazine and it's over to the readers and that's who vote. That's the readers who count. Uh, so the voting goes on for quite a long time um, and then it culminates in a fantastic lunch which we have in April um, where we obviously have the awards ceremony so the votes are all added up and the awards are given out and we have a really lovely time. Nikki Chapman from Escape to the Country on television is our host and uh, it's a really good day out for everybody in the property world. Yeah, so we have our first time buy a home show. Um, we've been doing them for many years now, uh, but this is the first time that we've ever decided to do one outside central London. So we've picked Croydon because we feel it's a real property hotspot. Um, so much regeneration, so much building, so much buzz. Croydon's really buzzing. So it's on the 16th of April at the Fairfield Halls in Croydon uh, between 10 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon. It's free to attend, so first-time buyers can come and talk to developers, housing associations, legal experts, uh, lots of financial advice, experience about that all-important credit check. 
um, and they can go around, get as much information as they want. Um, we have seminars on very key subjects all day. So there'll be one on shared ownership, one on help to buy. Help to buy London will be at the show. So they'll have experts there to explain them exactly how the process works. So the seminars are, are, are very, very interesting um, and you get a lot of information from that. And some people actually have even bought actually on the day of the show, which is fabulous. Um, so I do, you know, I do really look forward to these shows and it's great for first time buyers to sort of have a one stop shop. I'm always very positive. My motto is you can buy your first home because I do think it's possible. Um, where there's a will, there's a way. And I do think people now have got to slightly think outside the box. So it's not like probably our parents or our grandparents, when they bought a property, they saved up a deposit and they went out and bought a home. Nowadays, people are really struggling to raise that deposit that they would need to buy a home in that way. And that's where these schemes come in. So, you know, with Help to Buy, Shared Ownership, the new Help to Buy ISA, which is a saving scheme that the government have recently launched, there's so many opportunities for people actually to step on the ladder that are going to be much more affordable. So, yes, I think first-time buyers have got a fantastic future.